Hello everybody! Today I'm going to make spicy braised chicken. It's called dak bokkum tang or dak dori tang in Korean. Chicken and also potatoes and onion together with spicy seasonings. Everybody loves this. It goes well with rice. 2011, I went to Europe and Netherlands, you know, in Amsterdam, one of my readers' name is Sarah. Sarah loved, loved to learn how to make dakbokkumtang, so we made it together. At that time, I used chicken thigh, and chicken thigh were chunks of chicken, but today, I'm going to use chicken breast, and also, the, I'm not going to use any sugar. I will use just apple. So a little bit apple makes it like sweet enough. So today's dakbokkumtang is going to be a little upgraded, healthy version and delicious, of course. Anybody who is in Amsterdam, you guys who came to my meetup, you guys raise your hand <laughs> and I hope everybody is healthy and you guys have a good life. Please leave a comment if you were there because I miss you guys. So this is chicken breast, a little more than one pound. And then we are going to make two or three servings of delicious dakbokkumtang today. There's some kind of a slimy stuff that I like to wash it clean. Half first cut. And then this way make a slit. Like this. You guys are wondering why I'm doing this. It looks like an accordion. So I have a reason. You are going to see next stage. So I'm going to put it here and then same. So we have four accordions now. We need to season. So half a teaspoon salt. And add milk. Just any type of milk is okay. I will just add around a quarter cup. When you marinate the chicken with the milk, not only remove the smell, but also tenderize the meat. And refrigerate this at least 30 minutes so that the chicken is a little seasoned with the salt. Usually chicken breasts are kind of too dry. When I do this, it makes the chicken moist and was very tender and we make a seasoning sauce. Two tablespoons soy sauce, one tablespoon gochugaru, Korean hot pepper flakes, hot pepper paste, two tablespoons. This is two tablespoons. We need garlic and ginger, four cloves of garlic and around one teaspoon ginger. So ginger. It smells good, ginger smell. Nicely minced garlic and ginger. And this is ground black pepper, half a teaspoon. And mix all together. Mm, smells good. Apple, small apple. Or if you have a large apple, just use a half. Peel the apple. Get there. <laughs> and cut this half. Just a slice. Then I will bring my chicken. So my chicken is here. One by one, take it out. Here. I'm going to put this apple, really thinly sliced apple, put this between these chicken cuts. Like this. And next.
Look at that. So pretty, isn't it? And this is leftover apple. Put it anywhere. We have to add seasoning paste on top. And two and a half cups of water. And let's heat it up. Over medium high heat, I'm going to cook and for 15 minutes. This is potato I already peeled and just soak in cold water to stop it from going brown. And this is around eight ounces. After peeling, around eight ounces. Cut in half. Let's prepare this. In here. And onion. Onion is we need around six ounces. Also, I'm going to make these chunks. About one cup. It already smells so good. Wow, it's bubbling and cooking and yum. And just one green chili pepper. I will use two green onions. So cut them into one inch long. And I will put it here. Good thing about dakbokkumtang is that you can make a huge amount for the, like feed so many people. That's what I did. I made a huge pot of dakbokkumtang and just we shared this with my readers. You know, these days when I think about dakbokkumtang, I just think about people I met in Amsterdam in Netherlands. We had a really padlock party and everybody brought some delicious dishes, homemade dishes. We shared it together. So you are part of my life. Over medium high heat, and I cook this. Come here and see. Like this. Whoa! These things you don't have to throw away. I eat all. Okay, get there. Let's add all vegetables potato, onion, and green chili pepper. See, exactly submerged. Right, good, great. Cover this and turn down the heat to medium. Another 15 minutes over medium heat so that potatoes and all vegetables are well cooked. Apple is going to it need time. Delicious sweetness comes out. So today, I'm going to eat this dakbokkumtang uh, for my lunch and rice. And this is oimuchim. I already posted this recipe video. Mix. I added the seasoning, so hot pepper flakes, and all this sesame oil, all this. Things. Wow, nice, nice, very fresh. Cold and fresh. Green onion. Turn up the heat, medium high. Just one minute cooking and that's it. Let's see potato with my just wooden chopstick. See? Yeah, like that. So go through easily. So well cooked. Okay. Nice! <laughs> Water. You can use a spoon like this. Okay. Mm. Mm. Well.
well seasoned and also juicy. Usually, I put some the dakbok gumtang, the broth, and potato over over the my rice like this, and mix together just a little bit. The apple makes it really sweet. Cucumber salad. Mmm. Mmm. Spicy and sweet and soft potatoes. A little thick broth is so tasty. You can easily finish your bowl of rice. And also, the cucumber salad is a really good match. Today, we made dak bokkumtang, spicy braised chicken. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time.